All right, hello, folks. Well, as you are hearing, I've just gotten home, and the doggos are taking a minute to uh, run around and tell me how much they love me. So I'm going to let them out of the room real quick. Their daddy should be home in about an hour, a couple hours. Um, thank you. Welcome, welcome to those who have joined thus far. It's funny, I've got the volume way turned up from last night with Lawman, so I can hear, like, the water rushing in my head. Um, okay. So. Blue, thank you for being awake, by the way. I know this is always one of those, like, hit or miss whether you're going to be awake at the time <laughs> that my stream starts. Um, okay, so, uh, I just want to talk to you guys a minute before we get started about what's happened the past couple days. Um, and I know that a lot of times streamers do this and they're like on camera so you can see them, but I'm not. Um, hi everybody. So yes, I did quit the Discord. Um, I started the Discord back around EGX um, because I was lonely and I love talking to you all in the live streams and I figured, well, you know, if I like this, there are other people who probably want to talk to folks whenever they want and not just during the live stream. So I started the Discord. And um, hi, quick. Good to see you, buddy. Um, and uh, some people joined. You guys know who you are. The few, the proud, the beginning group. Um, and Sadie was one of them. And I would always put in the live chats for, um, you know, the channel I'm talking about. I would always put come join the Discord. So when Sadie took over the Twitter account after that, she started publishing the link. And I had it in my Twitter profile. And I never really thought of it as mine. I thought of it as the fan groups. Discord, and you know, we joke about me being the big boss bird. You guys can tell me if you didn't believe this, but you all know that, like, I just existed to exist for the sake of the server. Really, I wanted everybody to have kind of equal power. Um, there's a reason I didn't create mods. I know that some folks are like, we need mods. Well, there's a reason I didn't create mods. Um, for a long time, the picture didn't change to anything PlayStation related. Part of the reason for that is I thought that it would affect my account on the server, so I would always pop up typing as the account, which I didn't want to do. I wanted it to just be a bunch of people talking about stuff. Um, and, you know, able to kind of just have a nice place on the internet to go. And it's still that in a lot of ways, but it's also become this unofficial advertising platform. And um, part of that is me. Uh, part of that is... Uh, <laughs> The way that I started streaming is I told Quick Hatch that if, uh, you know, we would all kind of made fun of each other, we should stream, and I finally did it. I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it if you do it. I'll show you yours if you show me mine, and he streams, so I kind of felt like I should, you know, do my part of the bargain. That's how Bloodborne came about. That's how a bunch of stuff came about. So, um, I don't think that we anticipated things going this way. I certainly didn't. My day job is to anticipate things and, and look at risk, and I did not see this. I didn't see becoming an affiliate. Um, I didn't see my channel becoming monetized. I'm really glad that I know how to deal with that. I'm really glad that I went ahead and set up an LLC and all the other things you do to make sure that you're not personally getting income because with my day job, I have to be very careful about that stuff, guys. So that's part of why I left the Discord. It is writing a really fine line that I'm not comfortable with. I can't have, um, and then quick show, yeah, he did show me his tiny bell. <laughs> and then I rang my big bell. But uh, anyway, so it's it's riding a fine line. Um, I think you guys saw Matt Roth took his art, um, or asked us to take his art down. Um, if you read that kind of analysis, it should make sense to you why I think it was time for me to separate myself from my own well-being, um, my own kind of stress levels. <laughs> And if I want to keep streaming, I absolutely do not want to feel like I am doing it with a connection to a group that's causing me to get a benefit that I shouldn't be getting. Um, so I do have some, you know, if you guys think that it's hypocritical of me to, th to kind of have said what I have and whatever, please tell me. I My DMs are still open. I'm still on Discord. I'm still on Twitter. I'm still on Twitch, and you can DM me on, um, on Twitch. But, uh, you know, it's... Um, the last thing I want to do is seem hypocritical, and my start in the streaming has been different than the people who have come after me. And uh, I just, not come after me as in try to beat me up, come after me as start streaming after me in our group of people, right? <laughs> no one's tried to beat me up yet, but uh, let, let, them, let them come, let them come. Um, but I, I think that things are getting too closely um, 
they're tending in a direction that I cannot be a part of anymore. So I just wanted to explain that to you all. I know it seems like a rage quit. I had actually partly given um, Sadie the server, in part because she's doing the Twitter, right? It kind of makes sense, but also because it prevents me from rage quitting and um, canceling the server on you guys, which I had thought about a few times in the past few weeks. And that's an emotional thing that I never want to make emotional decisions that affect other people in that way. So the last thing I'll say on this is um, I cannot give any of you legal advice. Intellectual property was my focus in law school. It is not my current practice area. I only keep in, up on it in so much as I read things. Um, look up a trademark or a copyright dispute sometime. Uh, those fees will break you. It is not wise to ride the line with those fees. There are cases where music groups have gone after individuals for downloading single songs illegally. And uh, that is in the many multiples of thousands of dollars for fees. And I'm not trying to make anyone afraid, and I'm not trying to give any of you legal advice. I am saying that I'm an attorney, and you are seeing how I'm reacting to this situation. So whether you agree or not, or you want to do the same thing or not, I will just leave that uh, there on the floor for you to pick up or not. Um, I think those of you who are streaming all have, I, I just love watching you guys' stuff. I do. Um, I think there is a little bit of danger there because there's not enough time in the game, so we're not really, not enough time in the day, not enough time to game either. So just think about the fact that maybe you're not watching as much of the station or the channel that brought us together in the first place because of everyone else who's streaming and how that might not be a good thing either. Um, but those of you guys who are, I have every, every confidence that you can be successful at it um, if you put your mind to it and do the work, right? And you don't need a handout or somebody else's name to get you places. Um, you just need to, you know, to push and be smart about it. So, as always, my DMs are open. Um, you can ask me any questions you want. You can tell me that I'm stupid or overly cautious or, or any of that kind of stuff, and I'll just listen like I always do. And those of you who have talked to me privately know that I mean it when I say you can all talk to me whenever you need to. So, that said, how about we play some Abzu and chill out, huh? It's been a rough couple days. All right, we're going to start where we left off last time. Other than that, um, I actually feel pretty good. Why would you do it? I don't know. Um, I actually have gotten really lucky. I don't know if you got, oh, that's right. I got to learn these controls again, guys. I always forget. They're a little bit screwy. Um, I think I can, can I meditate here? Is it triangle to meditate? Oh, it's square. <laughs> it was Flamingo. I know. I think I said everything I could possibly say. Um, people have so far... I have not gotten... I've gotten like two creepers on um, Twitter. But I did tell you guys about my Twitter feed. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, new one. It is true. I will talk about legitimately probably more things that I, that I should talk about. Um, and if I can't talk about something, I'll tell you I can't. Which I think is also valuable. Look at this. Hey, same rules apply. If you want me to meditate and there's a spot nearby, you can just all caps type meditate and I'll try and do it. Um, you can be like Ollie and type it every five minutes. And Quick's in here, but he's on mute. So he won't remember, guys, which means he won't do it. And I meant to do my research. I don't know how much of the game is left. Um, but I know that I am going to go until about 5.30, my time so it won't be a long stream. And I'm really trying to limit my time for you guys on these streams because some of you do watch after the fact. And I've said it for weeks now and I need to actually do it. Why is this so hard for me? I don't understand why I can't swim. Why can't, why can't I swim? What's going on? Oh, that's why. I wasn't pushing the trigger. <laughs> I wasn't using my brain and using, uh... Using controls. I wonder if there's anything I can get up here. Vlad! Hello, buddy! 
Hey, so by the way, I don't know if Jonesy's in here. Oh, I'm gonna cough. Give me just a second. Yikes. Mute, mute. Oh no, Blue has a phobia of the sea? Blue! You don't have to watch, buddy! Oh. Thank you, though. Oh, I was gonna say something to you guys and I can't even remember what it was. Oh, I guess I have to go underneath. Oh, I know Blue replied, but seriously, guys, I did listen to Father Gascoigne's boss music, like, all day today. And I know it makes me a bit of a, a softy, but man, if I don't feel for that man so, so much. So that's what I'm going to tell you. Jonesy did some, some arts for me, so I haven't had a chance to post them yet. But they'll be up very soon. They will be up very, very soon. Okay, well, it doesn't stay dark forever. You do get a lot of this kind of luminous blue, though, so if it's bothering you. Also, um, I told you guys a long time ago, I think that I did triathlons in college, and well, when I was younger too, but in college was my sport. And even I, like open water, uh, still freaks me out a little bit. Dude, the album's great. It really is. Why won't it let me? Or maybe I already did that. I don't know where my robot buddies went. Anybody else remember what a hard time I had with the dang controls last time? I'm probably gonna be the same thing this time. Oh yeah, it does have 101 tracks, but they're not super long. I tell you what, they're super good. Super good. I actually love, um, there's one about a bird, which I won't tell you the name of. And I love the one for the water as well on the Undertale soundtrack. There we go. So. Oh, nice, Vlad. Yeah, I do that thing where I get super close and then I just don't plat things. I have not played Rhyme, I own Rhyme. It's actually, um, I have, I don't know if you guys notice, every week I put like one new game on the, um, <laughs> Quick did it, no, who told him? I do that thing where I put like one game on there that wasn't on the week before, and you'll notice I have like a huge catalog of calming games all ready to go for you guys. Oh, that's the other thing I was gonna talk to you guys about. So my leaving the server actually has been something I've been thinking about for a while. And um, since I kind of just identified the issues I talked to you all about. Um, the one thing I did say that was a bit impulsive is that I would stop streaming. And I said that partly because of the kind of stuff I identified in my very long conversation the other day with a bunch of people. Um, there are a bunch of risks. I think for me, I've probably mitigated them in the ways that I discussed on the server. Um, but I do have that lingering feeling of maybe being a bit hypocritical and that's what is kind of drove me to say that and then you know I'm streaming today I'm streaming tomorrow because it was you know yesterday when I said I'd not but uh, please give me feedback on that um, a few of you have talked to me I've gotten your opinion that you know it's probably not hypocritical but I do want honest feedback and if it's going to cause anybody to feel as though I somehow got an advantage you didn't or whatever. And not in just a business, you know, some people get advantages, some don't way, but super unfair. Um, let me know so I can make some choices. 
dang it, you guys remember how I feel about these damn underwater mines. Can I just swim around the place? <laughs> Thank you, Tick. I told you this Monday. <laughs> I did tell you this Monday, Greg. Or wait, did I quit Monday? I don't even know what freaking day it is anymore. I was sick Monday. I know it was yesterday. Thanks, guys. Um, I promise, you guys know I'm not, I, I joke about being, being melodramatic, but I actually have a pretty accurate self-image. And uh, I was not trying to be a drama queen. <laughs> Thank you all. I don't know what this is about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Vlad, I love you so much, man. <laughs> so I remember some of you were like, is there a plot to this game? <laughs> so, um, oh, Quick has something going on this Friday. Um, and I don't want to uh, make him feel obligated. So an idea I had that you guys can tell me what you think about. is that we will actually spend Friday rotating through folks. And, I mean, you know I only have so many skills when it comes to blood wounds, but... But, uh, so, you know, I have as many skills as I do, and you guys, oh, Pandy's here. You guys have seen me play, so you know what you're in for if you ask me to help. But I figured we could go into other people's games if you want, and not necessarily do the Pebble Boss fight, which I do want to do as a group sometime. But we could definitely see if, like, oh, look, Electric Fish. Oh, how cool is that? Um, it's a rough idea, but like if somebody needs boss fight help or somebody wants to get through an area and they want a group of us to assist or whatever, we could all do that together. So let me know what you think. And then quick, if you're not available, just confirm and we'll do that instead. What is this? This is some Basil XP. meditate right now, you jerk. I can just look at the Basil exposition for a bit. Okay, so am I just doing the streams because of you guys? No. Uh, am I doing them in large part because of you guys? Yes. I don't love being the center of attention, believe it or not. I like being a wizard behind the curtain. Um, and a lot of people say that and they don't mean it, and I really do. I get very uncomfortable being in the spotlight. So, uh... I started doing them because I told Quick, like I said, that if he did, I would. And I didn't want to be a hypocrite, for sure. Tension! Tension! Stress! So much stress! Oh my god! What do I do with this? I just don't think there's a way for me to get through this. But uh, the part of why I do it on Wednesdays is because I know it helped me a lot and I want to help all of you with it. Oh, this is not going to be good.
Oh, that scared me. going well. This feels like my day yesterday, actually. This is my day yesterday in a nutshell. Okay. So. I started doing these streams for myself. So I didn't feel like a hypocrite. But like I said, part of my sharing this stuff on Wednesdays is these things really helped me when I was really struggling. These kinds of games helped. So I feel like I'm sharing something worthwhile, and that makes a big difference. And on Fridays, it's just fun. So yes, it is still fun for me. And my saying I quit had nothing to do with that. No! The shark's helping us! No! The shark helps us! Oh! the Gascoigne family now. Look at us. Where are the Gascoines? Floating on down. <laughs> F. So much F. F for everybody. F for me, F for the shark. I know, I don't feel very chilled yet. Don't, don't worry, it gets back to it. It does. And I think we're nearing the end, so if we near the end, I'll ask you guys right before what you'd like me to play next. And, um... I've got a whole list of games, so we can talk about it. You might get the blue screen for a minute, though, while I pick. What did we name the Sharky? We named him something, or her something. It's a her, according to the lore, for which, yes, there is lore for this game. Blood for <laughs> <coughs> I haven't played both. My partner and I, well, my partner and I tried a few minutes of the second one, and we'll get there. He doesn't like newer games for the same reason that Nguyen's Ed doesn't like newer games. He says, there's so much going on on the screen. <laughs> so. Eighth in the pu You guys keep coming in like, it's not that you keep coming in, um, you keep coming in like, second or third to last. It's like the same, I think you were what, for <gasps> she's still alive. I do have bound, actually. No, my friend is Sharky. Oh, come back, please. Come back, please. Oh. Oh, my friend is Sharky. Okay, we gotta go find a way to bring the Sharky back, I'm sure. Yeah, I do have bound. We can try it. <laughs> Get good money for the fins. Yeah, shark fin soup, right? You guys know I'm vegan. I have thoughts about all that kind of stuff. Did you guys notice, by the way, that my android body has blown up? <laughs> this is cool 
from up above, huh? All right, quick. We'll see if we can meditate. Eight out of ten cats, is that what you're referring to? I do know about eight out of ten cats, by the way. Look guys, I can actually walk now. Enigmatic video, nice. Look, it's a turtle! <gasps> Check out my legs. Look at my legs. Check out my legs. Look at the turtle. Oh, hi, buddy. You gonna nibble on my leg? Can I pet the turtle? I wonder if I can pet the turtle. Apparently not. It's a good. Jet have a tortoise? Pandy, you gotta tell me, do you have a tortoise? What's your tortoise's name and how old and where did you get him? That's what your legs look like. <laughs> I'm not your buddy guy. You know, it's funny. I already said that quick. Um, so, I think I may have talked about this before. That happens a lot with tortoises. They like, kind of pass from family to family because people forget that they can live for ever, ever and ever. About 190 years old or something. Beautiful! But yeah, what's his name? He will definitely outlive you. Actually, in the desert, a lot of times people will put, they'll make pet estates, um, which is you set aside some money in your will to take care of your critter. And there's a conservation group in Nevada and California that will um, make sure your tortoise is taken care of. So there's a guy named Tom Astle, A-S-T-L-E, I think it is, who does wildlife photography as like a hobby, but he owns a couple tortoises. Fred, oh Fred. And he, uh, you should totally look at his account if you guys want to know anything about tortoises. He does a bunch of research, he gives a bunch of facts. His turtle's name is Eddie. What does Ben think of uh, Fred? We gotta get in there somehow. A turtle is. A tortoise in the desert is not a bad sign. Quick gave us the uh, lowdown on the difference. Oh, this is another puzzle with shades. Let's see if we can meditate. Oh, there's a meditation shark. Or maybe that's just a shark shark. Nope, that's a meditation shark. Can you tell us the topic, Greg, or did I miss that? There we go. Oh yeah, they do that, right? Do you ever get nervous when he burrows? It, well, first of all, is he a super escape artist? Second of all, does he live in your garden? And third of all, um, do you ever get nervous that he's gonna burrow and then like burrow too far and end up? Oh. Hey, it's a dinosaur fish thing. And then not come out. Oh, a little wooden house. 
does he live in your garden? Do you have a garden and does he live in it? That's indoor he lives indoors with you? Why have we seen no pictures of Fred? I find this unsatisfactory. Completely unsatisfactory. Hey, why is it quick uh, typing meditate? What is his favorite thing to eat? And you also didn't tell us what Ben thinks of Fred. I think you've publicized Ben before, haven't you? Handy as a dog. I'm publicizing his business. Maybe I will. I'm gonna have to watch every video just to figure out where Fred is. Ben don't care about Fred. But yeah, apparently my dad, when he was a kid, they had, they had um, <laughs> a few different tortoises, actually. As it goes. No, I wanted him to notice that I meditated on my own without his request. But of course, he doesn't care if I'm happy, so he didn't notice. <laughs> Already did. Done. <laughs> yeah, but why are you talking? What's what's the topic? I missed it, and my computer next to me just went on screen saver for some unknown reason because I'm plugged in. So tell me what tell me what the topic is, please. Do it. Kindly. Thank you kindly. Do I have to get up here so does like the water though. I'm totally a water kid. Very funny do the ch I'm trying to figure out how to do the chase. Actually, Andy, I was just thinking, this is one game where I mean, I'll miss stuff, right? I've missed a few of the shells and things, but overall, it's like, oh, I kind of know how to do the puzzles. Maybe I need to find my, uh, maybe there's more little robot things that I'm just not looking for. Yeah, I bet you there's more little robot things. I, I always need you for your puzzle skills, bro. I'm mostly just upset that the shark is gone. All right, folks, let's see if we can find a robot or two. <sighs> That's the thing, though, that I kind of hate, is I did competitive swimming for so long that, like, fun swimming is just not the same, and I hate that, like, like just being in water is okay, I guess, but your post anticipated game is great. Why do you get 1.6 thousand flamingo points? And they're feathers, by the way. We have a we have an icon for that. Oh, you just do have that many tiny films. <laughs> is this the same meditation I was on earlier?
keep having to remind myself that if I don't finish the game tonight, I'll be okay. Spend some of your damn feathers. Actually, the stuff to spend it on is forthcoming, folks. I wouldn't fit, um, phrasing. I feel like. Are we doing a feathers competition? Who's got more feathers? Hey, did you guys see I posted last week? It's called a flamboyance of flamingos. Isn't that fantastic? Like, I named some of my categories and stuff, and I have to rename them because I said, like, a flock a couple times. And it's not a flock. So actually, Ollie and Sir Shaquille, I should say, welcome to the flamboyance. Instead of welcome to the flock. Isn't it? It's a flamboyance. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. But yeah, it's just being in water isn't the same. Um, after you've like, I would rather swim laps than just float in a pool and I kind of hate that. Being at the ocean is my favorite thing. I think I said that to you guys during Unravel. Um, I love where you can be in mountains and then just like 15, 20, 30 minutes later be at the ocean. Of course, you guys say the sea, right? Is that the British way of putting it? Be at the sea. I've got to have a little robot guy somewhere, right? I mean, tell me if I'm crazy, folks. That's what we used last time to get into these areas. I mean the ones, the gates with the other, um... If you're still in here, you do know that there's also Delta Rune. Undertale. It's not a sequel. It's just the second Toby Fox game that he was going to release episodically. And I do so love that he's very clear, like, guys, it's not going to be like Undertale. Just be prepared. That was a once in a lifetime thing. Nothing will ever be like it. Which is so, so smart to say, because it's true. That game was absolutely a treasure. It is a treasure. And it's not that he's not good enough to do something similar. It's just... It's a unique game. Maybe I have to suck it up. I feel like I have to get up on a platform. lower the volume on the game? I just want to confirm blue. Let me know. I'll do whatever you like, just let me know what it is. Maybe I could jump onto the platform. How about now? Am I any better, or do you still need me to adjust? <laughs> Penitate. <laughs> okay, hold on just a second. It's going to go blue for a second, folks. And not in the ocean way.
How about now? Did that change it at all? Maybe. <laughs> oh, maybe. Not in the ocean way or the saucy way, no. Uh, going up. I meditate in real life, folks. Some good stuff. It's a bit better, Yarp. I could have also just been mumbling. I am prone to that on occasion. Okay, Pandy, I lied. I guess on this stream I will need your ex your puzzle solving expertise at some point. Oh, I guess I could just climb up there. I love meditation. It has helped me so 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 much in life. Okay. It is better. Ooh. I just moved my mic closer. So guys, um, some fun stuff. I got a new TV, which I'm pumped about. And I also got, uh, well, I've had, I have had a microphone for a while. Oh, your neighbors. Because the music's too beautiful, is that why they would complain? Let's look around up here and see how I might be able to get onto that other platform. Um, so, I will be able to start using my new mic, and I'll be able to start actually uh, being much easier to hear as a result. <laughs> so I'm pretty, pretty excited about that. And we emptied out a guest bedroom. It will now have the new TV in it, which would be fantastic because we actually both play video games. and. Uh, no! Uh, I'm gonna sound really spoiled, guys. I have the luxury of having a day job. I am an attorney. I'm a public attorney, which means I don't make as much as private attorneys, so don't think that I make what you probably think I make. Um, but actually, my paycheck is a matter of public record in America, so you can look it up. So I love Costco, and they had a sale on 65-inch televisions, so the thing takes up an entire wall in this guest room. <laughs> An entire wall. The whole damn wall. Hey, Jack. It's good to see you, buddy. Yeah, so it takes up the whole damn wall. And uh, I haven't gotten a new TV since 2011, I think. 10 or 11? 11. I was in Afghanistan. It was 11. So, uh, I feel like it was time. Oh, what's up here? And we moved, we had, before I decided to be a free vegan gal, uh, I had bought this beautiful leather couch. And I have four cats, and one of them peed on the couch. So we spent many months trying to get the piece of out of the couch. It is finally out of the couch. So the um, couch lives in there now, too. So it's this kind of very, you know, Except for the fact that it's like purples and grays and chocolate, the couch is chocolate brown. It's like a very kind of club feeling game, which I love. Anything over six is. <laughs> We're not talking about Nintendo Man here. Oh, hey yo! Hey yo! How the hell am I supposed to get that other thing, guys? I bet, like, forces me to not go that way by having vegetation. Um, yeah, so that'll be cool. That'll be fun. Oh my god, both of you, stop. <laughs> Just stop.
but uh oh yeah that's right greg did a get, did get a newman did get a new tv but yeah so um i read a bunch of stuff and people were like i'm playing on a 42 inch tv right now that's almost 10 years old and a lot of people in reviews i read said 65 is actually pretty standard like it's not hard to get a 65 inch tv so people almost expect that you have one where is it where's the other platform because we need to get in here and i can't figure out if i can go from the bottom or if i need to go up from the top somehow um look up How do I get up there? I, tr I tried it earlier, but I couldn't figure out how to get up here. Um, yeah, I know, doesn't that seem crazy? Before, <laughs> definitely talking about yeah, it seems absolutely crazy that that's like standard, but apparently it is. So I, you know, knowing that and then seeing it was on sale and all that kind of stuff, I went and got it. And, Andy, I'm trying here, buddy, but I just don't see how to get up there. That's the one I want to get on. Um, I also was careful because I only had some of them in that. Uh, I only have some of them in that room. <laughs> so it's, the couch is just far enough back that it won't be Right at the Oh, did I mess up? I have to go back to the Well, yeah, there is another chain right there, but I don't know how to get back up on that. Okay, I'll show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Well, doesn't it depend on how far away you are from the screen? Because I've read that. It was just make sure you're X feet away from the screen. I think you're talking like computer monitor. That's what I want to get on, name of your sex nice. So yeah, here it is. I see it. It's in there. It'd be in there, fam. That's what I'd say. But how the hell do I get in there? Yeah, see? This is me saying, let me in! Exactly, Blue. I have a big TV, and that's why I can't play well. Okay, what's happening? I have no robot friends. Andy, are you on the Googles? Please tell me you're on the Googles. Help me out, bro. Oh! Stairs! Stairs! Did you see that, people? Stairs! Oh! Stairs! Thank heavens. Stairs. Or maybe that's not helpful. Well, frickin' hell. <laughs> Actually, you laugh. But you know why I finally said, damn it, we need a new TV. Death Stranding. And here's why. I actually pay attention to what it says in the inventories and the little tiny text. And I would get so, such a bad headache after playing Death Stranding because of the tiny text. And I finally said, you know what? I love this game. I want to platinum this game. Part of why I don't play it is because my heart hurts because of issues um, with the storyline, right? people who played that know but another part of it is just 
it hurts my damn eyes. Oh, hi! Hannah and Amelia. Panda, you got anything for me? Is there a ledge on this side? <gasps> yes! Yes! Thank you. If I could take a bow, I would. Oh, thank you, dear. Oh my god. Thank frickin' heavens. your husband says to you regularly, just you, I was saying it or he was saying it. Is that part of it, Hannah? Yeah, they tell you there's a shark in the, shark in the deep end of the day, I do. Oh, by the way, folks, I made a, I made a decision. Definitely buying, not, not just getting from the library, which will happen soon. It is it actually the flu? First question, I guess. Is it actually the flu? I'm sure, as your husband says, ask one question at a time. No compound questions. Rather appropriate for Flamingo and Chill, don't you think? <laughs> oh, Nick! Welcome! Welcome, welcome! Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, 
not. You'd think they'd be like flight games, but they're not. Pineapples? Are they pineapples? <laughs> last night. I love sipping sizes of things. I don't feel the need to drink. But we have pools. Guys, we've never gotten a quick hat pool before. Your action game is 50% cutscene. You know what? You're only saying that because that's every Hideo Kojima game. Actually, no, Near Automata isn't quite 50 I tried inverted swimming and I can't remember. Actually, let's look and see what way I have it now. Yeah, I have it all normal. So, I um, have told you guys that I love Hideo Kojima games on the whole. But I'm not a Hideo Kojima fan. I'm just not. He's an interesting guy, but. I don't like the Rockstar thing, and whether he... I mean, look, he said he started a small dev studio, and look at all his famous friends. Like, he once and has done a very good job of getting folks to feel as though he was the underdog in all this, but... Look at who he, look at who he hangs out with, folks. Just the pudding. Nothing wrong with it, I just don't really love the insinuation that he studio and did all this stuff by himself. Oh, so I think this is like, it takes you back to prehistoric stuff. <laughs> An inverted. Why is it when I say we were inverted, only if, oh my gosh, look at it! Only a few people have ever gotten that I'm talking about Top Gun. We were inverted. No, I don't want that one, I want the big one. Come here. I want the big one. So frickin' wonky. Come here. What did I have to chase around last time we played? There was something I had to chase around in order to ride. Possibly phrasing. we go. Frickin' hell. That was so difficult. <laughs> Playing with the boys. So the volleyball coach, or the volleyball scene, the Santa Clara women's volleyball coach when I was in uh, high school was his body double. His volleyball body double. Uh, Tom Cruise, not he. Not just he. Tom Cruise's volleyball body double. Body double. Top Gun. And uh, he would come to do clinics sometimes at the high school I went to, so we had like a special handshake. I felt very cool as a kid. You want history on what, dear? What would you like history on? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. I think when you have, even when you have a hero who is an icon, I don't think Rob is blind to any of these things. I think he just really loves Hideo Kojima, and that's okay. I do know that people say if you were not having to translate what he says into English, he's a lot more um, deferential and gives more credit to his team, but I don't know. 
just don't know. Ooh, you've met him a few times. Yeah, I'm sure he seemed nice. I'm not saying he's a bad guy. Um, I just don't love the way he insinuated that his dev studio was like the tiny underdog. Oh, for realties. You'll be back. He'll be back. He'll be back. And I love that... Yeah, I, I figure it is the translation. I love the tongue-in-cheek humor. I do think that we give him a lot of credit for storylines and such, when we, and we forget that there's a team of writers and that the actual primary writer for a lot of the Metal Gear games kind of just, like, disappeared. Nobody knows where the guy went. Um, and there are comments always from the actors and the people involved that, like, they'll do something and he'll go with it. So I think his skill is really more in being a director, and I know that he wanted to do film wanted to do that kind of stuff and he got into games instead um, and he has like a good seed of an idea or a general image in his head but he's more better at taking a bunch of input from other folks as well and making it into kind of a product that's artistic um, I hope that makes sense so no I don't hate yeah Yoko Taro for sure I just think that you know I think part of why I love Yoko Taro so much is his personality is very 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 different are very appreciative of folks openly and that kind of thing and it translates well to English when he's when he says that um, and I'm sure Hideo Kojima is a lovely person I've never said otherwise I just think that at least in the way that it's presented I have some beef with uh, him saying his studio is small you can't yes and he is directing I mean he's the main He's the director, right? He's the main guy from which the things get approved or they don't. Um, and I don't think that you have to have every idea yourself or independently to take credit for a product as being like from your studio, especially when it's your own damn studio. <laughs> and especially when you're the director of the project. Um, and I have definitely softened on my opinion that he takes credit for things he shouldn't. Um, and I think though part of it is when he was with Konami, Konami recognized this kind of rock star potential from him and took advantage of that. Um, and I think that maybe it's lingered a bit too long. And it is more accurate to say that you have a guy with an already known presence, um, already is kind of a star in gaming, started his own studio not, I was the underdog, starting this thing off on my own, um, and we had a bunch of disadvantages. I mean, look at who's, look at who's in Death Stranding, and Greg, you can defend me in the chat if anyone says otherwise. I love Death Stranding. Uh, look at my avatar, guys. Love Metal Gear. Love it. Have all art books that I wanted up here. Not every single one, period, but love it, love it, love it. I've actually wanted to read Blood, Sweat, and Pixels. GF! Hi! Good to see you, buddy! Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Yeah, a couple people and I were talking about this other thing, too. Um, you know, I'm not on the Discord anymore, and I don't get a say. You know, I gave up the reins a while ago, right? So I don't get, get a say in how it's run. But I am still a member on Discord. And I'm okay with group chats. I don't think that there's anything wrong with, you know, if there's five or six people that you want to talk to, um, you know, the way you guys DM me, I see no reason why you can't DM five or six people in a little group. It's not making you clicky. It's not making you bad, but some folks are going to end up closer with each other than others, and it doesn't mean you won't participate in the main thing, but... Couple of you want to talk to me or talk to somebody else? I'm not going to think that means that you you hate the main channel or the main Discord. Oh, have a good sleep, Harvey. Hopefully, some of this has given you good dream material, good noises, and good pictures. Those are just 
my thoughts, right? Always feel free to ask many opinions on such things, but if I knew a couple of people had their own little small chat, you know, unless I thought they were doing it personally to get away from me, I did all. about your dream real bad, SD. I, I want to hear about these stress dreams that you're apparently having. My favorite, so this might be controversial, the first Metal Gear I played was War. And it's not a lot of people's favorite, I feel like, but it is mine. For that mainly nostalgia purpose, I played Metal Gear Solid 4 and said, oh my god, I have to know everything about this series. So I did what I, you guys hear me say every week for Bloodborne. I got every book I could, I looked at every website I could, I watched every video I could. And back when I played it, it was 2009. So YouTube really wasn't as big. And you couldn't just find more videos on YouTube. Um, but after playing that one, at the time I was married, and my husband, I had bought him a Metal Gear Solid for PlayStation 3. A gift for Christmas, I think. Um, which I don't know if he still has it. We don't really talk. We had a very amicable divorce. Very neat. Um, but it's not like I just call him <laughs> to, to chat about this kind of stuff. Um, I played a lot on his account, a lot on a local account, so I don't have my save, which is a story I tell pretty often. But anyway, so he also had a classic PlayStation, which he actually had me trade in at one point, and I kind of wish I would have kept. I've since bought another one, but and actually Nintendo Man at one point did have PlayStation, so I've got his PlayStation and PlayStation 1 here. But uh, my point is I also played the first Metal Gear back then. Wait, what were you shook us about? What were you shook what were you shook us about? Oh, I'm glad, GF. That's the point of the stream. It means I'm meeting my intentions here. What's your favorite, good sir, Mr. Shaquille? Trash doesn't follow you. <laughs> Pandy, you gotta get on that, bro. I mean, do what you want. I know, isn't that a hard one? I love three. Love three. The boss is like... Anybody who says that Kojima doesn't write strong female characters, sorry, some language, can fuck right off. Eva and the boss, yeah, they're sexualized, they have sexual presences, I'm sorry. Strong female characters. And you know what, in a way, like, the fact that they're sexualized the way they, well, the boss less so. Um, but the way Eva is, totally okay with it. Totally fine. Even if she is a liberal with zips, as someone we all know and love once said. I think I probably need to get over there, don't I? Um, but yeah, so, the boss. I... The boss and the sorrow, man. That storyline gets me every time. Like, I get choked up when I think about it. And Ocelot, love him or hate him, he's my favorite character in the whole series. I think 3 is the most solid as far as, just as a total game, it's the most solid entry. They are funny, I, they're meant to be a bit tongue-in-cheek if you ask me. And dude, what a badass chick, like... What she does on a, a Triumph Bonneville. <laughs> just blows my mind. I mean, Blue, you're in the chat. You, you can you can tell folks 
being able to make a Bonnie jump like that, even in a fictional world, but just the idea that she would be able to ride a Bonnie like that, badass. Yeah. Uh, I would love, I actually do intend at some point to cosplay Eva. Four in one sitting? Oh my god. But, um, I guess that makes sense. If you, well, I did that with Death Stranding, pretty much. I took a few breaks here and there, but pretty much over the course of a few days, that's just all I did was played. I took Friday off, and then Monday was a holiday, and my partner knew that I was just not going to be available by phone. <laughs> yeah, she jumps it, and like, wheelies it, and she's got a sidecar on that thing, and she jumps it. She jumps it with a sidecar. I have no, I have no idea what I'm doing here, folks, by the way. Oh, I think I have to go. That big open door. Ha! Probably not. Maybe I did. I know, right? On, on with a sidecar. While shooting things. With someone in a sidecar who is shooting things. Oh yeah, I did come into that door. that I really loved, but just was too chicken to get at the time. And the boss. I'd love to do the boss. Ah, it won't be that great. I have the boots and I have the flight suit. It's the wig that's hard. And Eva doesn't seem like a terribly complicated cosplay. You just gotta get aviators, the right wig, and the rest of that stuff. I don't know that I'd necessarily take pictures either for me for my own amusement. <laughs> I'm decently modest. I don't know how I'd feel about being liberal with zips in pictures that uh, would last in Live and let die. Gotcha. Okay, maybe I have to go up above somewhere. Freaking hell. The big door. Okay, big door. What big door? The big door. I come in through that big door? The underwater big door, or is there an above water big door? That's Andy's hint for everybody's getting bored in this area. Let me just progress the story, please. I'm so sorry, everyone. If 
you've been bored while I've been tracing around this level, I apologize. We're now exiting. Please stand clear of the closing doors. You are now taking the elevator to the leader deck. You've been a trooper about trying to help the crew hold let me go and chills. Do we want a screenshot of the 400 hour Oblivion play? Is that what we're talking about? Take a look around before I jump back in. Unlike the last few times. Can I get down there? Yep, we're underwater, but it's dry. Don't think about it too hard. <laughs> Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Xbox 360. Oh, it's another one of these. I've owned an Xbox. And I have a house full of Nintendos. Oh, so pretty. Look at this. Hopefully you've got some pretty pictures and some pretty sounds in your head while you go to sleep tonight, Jack. We'll see you Friday, huh? Not sooner. listen to the um, soundtrack for this, just out of curiosity, on their own. I did post, oh and hey, the Spotify playlist also still exists, guys. I haven't gone to clean up the um, one for just like regular music that you want to share with folks, but uh, 
I do still listen to the soundtrack one. I did put a couple Abzu tracks in there. Has anybody listened to the soundtrack for this game? Just out of curiosity. Since the first time I played. Hey, Lawman. Like, kind of how in the game it does it, it just flows one track into the next so well. hear some barking. <laughs> some quiet off in the distance barking. What's in an old access stream? like, nope, uh, please focus on the objective. I know you want to look over there, but really, I would prefer you just focus on the objective. <laughs> ah, sorry about the dogs. They're water pups. Shark friend! It's our shark friend! Oh, she's back! Oh, look at her! Oh, she's back! And I'm whole again! Sharky shark! Sharky McSharkerson! Lady Shark Face! Uh oh, here we go. I did look up the lore. It's a she shark. And I'm an android, so, you know, I don't really have a gender. Oh, we're gonna swim together! Isn't it? Beautiful music. Joyful. Totally joyful. 
go destroy things together. Yeah, that's right. Let's just destroy this evil thing that tried to kill us a million times. Gosh dang it. There we go. Let's see if she'll destroy stuff. So wonky. Come here. Last one. Come on. Shark and I are pals. I wish M was here because I did tell her I was like, don't worry. You and the shark don't hate each other. Not forever. The shark was actually just trying to. The, the lore thing is, the shark is not your. Enemy. They're not trying to hurt you. They're actually just trying. To oh, yay! They're actually just trying to keep you out of um, danger, but it's stopping you from going places early in the game. <laughs> the baby shark song. Friday. But I did um, I did Valley Girl for you last week and I definitely did die. I don't know how I just lost over the fact that I died because normally I totally know it. Yeah. I didn't do it. So I gotta make up for it next week. Or this week. I will. Don't worry. I'll make up for it. 
might even write you a whole Valley Room monologue just to make up for it. And I'll come up with some way that we can do the system, but I really would think it would be fun if we could do like a group Bloodborne hop into each other's game kind of sesh. The only problem is if I die, then it you know just goes back to my game. But I guess what else to expect? What's that? Oh, it's a nurse shark! <gasps> Pebble Gang will definitely happen, don't worry. It'll, it'll happen. blowing up. Now we 
Gale. So powerful and just throwing all of the mines together. It is absolutely gorgeous. I played it many, many years ago. The soundtrack, by the way, everyone should listen to it. After the stream, if you can't sleep, just put on the soundtrack and let it play. I'm sorry, and if I have said you, hi to you, excuse me, hi to you before because you've been here, well, I'm sorry, my memory is shite. <laughs> well, guys, uh, I thought we might get through it, and we have. That's pretty much the end of the game. What you can do afterward is hang out with your friend the shark and just swim around. So we'll do that for about 15, 20 minutes. And around together during the credits too. You know I always let the credits go through. We need to be able to kind of, you know, see and appreciate who's made these games, especially the gorgeous ones like this. Um, I think it's four hours. It's not a long game at all. Four hours if you kind of blast straight through. I missed a bunch of little collectibles and stuff, but they are not hard to go back and get. And you can go back and get them on rails as far as like the areas you go visit you can't kind of go back uh, to old areas but you also have the meditation function which I don't think you saw show where there's certain areas you can um, sit on like a rock and watch the fish pass so if anybody wonders what I'm doing I'm just holding down L2 and riding the shark Everybody who, uh, <coughs> who may have seen, or even if you've just seen the part tonight, do you have a favorite section or a favorite little world that you saw by chance? You're welcome, Andy. Glad that you uh, are ready to go to bed and go to sleep. <laughs> and say hi to Fred and Ben. I'm going to say goodbye after the uh, credits finish. Dude, love the return of the shark moment. Totally do. And just the joyful music that plays there at the end when you're swimming around together. I don't know if you can see I am controlling my character right now. They do let you kind of swim around together during the end scenes for the end credits. Was Sir David Attenborough really in the credits and I missed it? is always good. I don't know if you guys remember last time, all the pain I had with those damn mines. <laughs> but yeah, Shell, and I think the game is still pretty reasonably priced, if I remember correctly. It, it sometimes get bun gets bundled with, like, flour and entwined is another one that you guys will see on the list next week. Um, but yeah. Same studio, I'm almost positive.
there you go. And you can swim around the end credits as long as you like as well. Just lets you chill. <laughs> I totally should. Well, I'm sorry, Shell. I know you just popped in, and so did you, Noga Gamer. But um, the stream will be up still on my Twitch. It'll be up on YouTube in no time. Um, I'm going to. Sorry, I am going to pull some highlights here and there. Thank you for putting up with my little discussion at the beginning. I think it was important for me, guys, for me to tell you guys where my mind was, and for you to hear um, from my reasonable voice <laughs> that I wasn't, you know, particularly. Uh, making it just a, an emotional rash spur of the moment decision that it was actually something I considered. So I am still available on Discord, like I mentioned. You can slide into my DMs anytime you like. Um, and you are always welcome to get a hold of me on, on Twitter as well. I will still be my own Twitch entity. I will still be kind of doing my own outreach and such. But I'll also be in the live streams for the channel that we all know and love as myself. So, you know, that stuff won't change. It'll just kind of go back to in a lot of ways, the way stuff was before um, the Discord for me, anyway. Uh, except that now I stream. So, uh, Friday, we'll talk about what's going to happen Friday with Bloodborne. And, uh, yeah, I think that does it. Oh, last thing before we go. Um, somebody had said something. See, I've trapped you now into another thing. Somebody had said something once about uh, an exit comment for videos or streams and I was I got like upset and then I always now as a grown-up I've learned that when I have a strong negative emotional reaction I should take a second and figure out why why am I having a strong negative emo emotional reaction to this um, so I want to explain why I say something to you guys so I know other people say it um, people say it out in the world and that kind of thing but the reason I end my streams with flamingo out is very personal to me um, you know I spent time in the service and that's something you say in radio procedure when you're done with a radio conversation with someone. And there's all these rules, like you're not supposed to out someone who outranks you, and if you start the conversation, you can out it, but if you hop in, you're not supposed to out it, blah, 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 and all these rules. But the thing is, like, they, I had to learn all that, and I had to learn a bunch of different kind of radio calls that you make and call signs and that kind of stuff. And I, I think that the reason I had such a strong reaction is I say it to you guys as a subtle way in my mind for me to bridge the two lives that I've had. No, no, no. It's Somebody just made an innocuous comment, Shell. Um, and it made me upset. And that's part of why I was like, why why am I upset about this? This is an innocuous comment that like nobody, nobody has ever said anything that I count as mean or, you know, trying to incite me into some kind of actual rage <laughs> or derisive or divisive even, but in any of my streams. Um, but I wanted to say that to you guys because I don't think that you would know otherwise. It's special to me because it's kind of a subtle way to bridge um, both my both my um, my lives, the one I used to have and the one I now have with you all. So when I say that, know that for me it's a, a little special thing that I kind of give to you guys um, in an odd sort of way, if that makes sense. So, you've already killed them just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for taking care of that shell. Shell the destroyer at work, folks. But yeah. So, um, so now you know why I say that to you guys. It has been a hard few days, but, you know, in a way, a lot of weight has lifted for me. And I can get back to just enjoying you guys and enjoying the streams and talking to you all. And, you know, getting back to why I started doing this in the first place. So... Uh, again, thank you for listening to my, my big spiel at the beginning, for listening to my talk about why I say Flamingo out now. And just uh, hopefully you've got some pretty pictures in your head, some nice water sounds. Go turn on the soundtrack if you can't sleep. Turn on the Let's Play or just play the stream over again and put me on mute and put on the soundtrack. <laughs> but it is, it is so great to see you all. I'm so humbled that you guys still came out to watch. We'll talk about Friday. And uh, yeah, be brilliant. Flamingo out.